Woo. So how do you feel after all that bouncing? I feel so energized, but that's I, a workout, right? I want to take the class. Me too. I'm going to take it again on Sunday. Let's do it. It really didn't feel like working out. It was just like a lot of fun. After 45 minutes, it feels like working Very out. Very true. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like to work out in front of the TV also. I know. I know. <laughs> just sitting there with a bag of chips. But uh, anyway, <laughs> who does it? control workout? Yeah, that's remote control workout. <laughs> I like that. Well, who doesn't have a favorite TV show? Well, the Writers Guild of America, actually, they have 101 faves. And we've got their top five best written TV shows. Well, coming in at number five is the military classic, MASH. Aww. All in the Family took the number four spot. And the 1959 series, The Twilight Zone, came in third place. And, of course, NBC's show about nothing, yeah. Seinfeld, <laughs> is rated number two. And the number one best written TV show is, drumroll please, <laughs> The Sopranos. The Sopranos? That's right. Huh. What was your fave, though? Sex in the City. Sex in the City. That was yeah. actually number 39 on the list. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. What about you, Shannon? It would have to be The Cosby Show. Hands really? Down. The Cosby Show. Well, where was that on the list? I think it was one of 29. 29? Yeah, huh. not bad. So your show was a lot better than my favorite show, apparently. <laughs> well, they're all great shows. It's just about the best written show. You know, when you have the characters, that may be a whole That's other true. list. This, what about The Wire? How come that wasn't in the top five? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, no, I, I could think it was number nine, though. It wasn't that far off. Oh, so top ten. Yeah, All top right, ten. Cool. That works. All right. Well, Lola, what pregnant celebrity was just compared to a huge balloon? Uh, that would be Jessica Simpson. Oh, but no. it's okay, it's okay, because this time she's the one making fun of herself. Oh, okay. She tweeted this <laughs> pic of her wearing a hot air balloon sweater, and the caption read, metaphor. Oh, <laughs> well, it's good to see that she's in good spirits. You know, it's probably because her bouncing baby boy should be here in just a matter of days now. I know. Oh, right everybody's right due. Yeah, know, Kate, all these the, babies. At the Middleton, she's due next right, month. Kate, yeah. yeah, Kate and uh, your girl, Kim Kardashian. Of course. In so, July as well. And Kim Ye. Kim Ye. Kim Ye. Well, Kim Ye's <laughs> yes. coming. <laughs> well, this has to be the oddest music duo ever. Okay. Shannon? LaToya Jackson mm -hmm. is teaming up with drag superstar RuPaul. Say for, what? <laughs> yes, for a house track called Feel Like Dancing. Boop, boop. Wow. <laughs> well, her European inspired dance song, yeah, Feel Like Dancing. Feel Like Dancing. Feel Like Dancing. <laughs> well, clips from their session. Now, which one's RuPaul and which one's LaToya? Oh! oh. Oh, did she go there? Yes, yes she, she did. did. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want to see more of what went on behind the scenes of the recording session, you can check it out Latoya's reality show, Life with Latoya on the OWN Network. That trampoline got me spicy. I know, you're ready now. Bounce, bounce, bounce. <laughs> you are ready and on fire. I know. Well, you got to check out this picture. Since you're all energized, you can maybe run from okay. this T-Rex like this couple did. Hmm. As you can see, the bride and groom, oh and God. they're all running from something. Can you pull out and see what exactly they're running from? I see teeth. They're actually running from a T-Rex. A T-Rex, but of course, it was obviously photoshopped by the photographer. But this just looks like a fun and creative way to celebrate your wedding and <laughs> take some pictures. A little crazy. But... I actually like that. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's very different. It's not just the same posy, posy picture. Exactly. That you can tell that funny. couple has a sense of humor. So that's yeah, nice. I like that. Yeah. And with Father's Day just around the corner. It is? Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah, so get ready. <laughs> okay. Get ready to get those gifts ready. Yeah. <laughs> Uh -oh. <laughs> Actress Regina Jones teams up with her famous dad, Quincy Jones, to raise awareness about getting tested for prostate cancer. Mm. We have a, actually a clip for the PSA. Take a look. I know how fast time goes by and the importance of cherishing life's special moments. In the blink of an eye, your world can change and suddenly you're faced with health risks. One in six men will develop prostate cancer in their lifetime and every 16 minutes a man dies of prostate cancer in the U.S but prostate cancer is often treatable. So speak to your healthcare provider about a plan for your prostate health. Time goes by so quickly, so all the more reason to protect the futures of the ones we love. Well, the father-daughter duo said they shot the PSA in hopes that it would help save lives. You know, prostate cancer is the second most common cause of cancer deaths for men in the U.S., Shannon. I didn't realize that. Yeah, well, I'm glad that it affects one in six men. Really? Yeah, and I'm glad they're bringing some awareness to it now. I had no idea. Yeah, well, it's for a good cause. I'm glad they're doing it for Father's Day, so get ready to give your dad a great gift. Gotta get daddy a gift. Do you have any, any idea? Papa OG's gotta Papa get a OG. gift. Papa OG, we'll hook you up. Don't worry, <laughs> Papa OG. Thanks for watching Arise Entertainment 360. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.